So if you could go there and key in your opinion, just um short, short words, short sentences. Not not really a sentence, but short short um description or words, if you may. So we could gather what other people um are thinking about. Okay, so we'll start with this, and I'll check my. Uh -oh. Okay. <coughs> Thank you. Which I did is I feel I want to be rude. Ah, research. Teaching, research. Ah, okay, good. It's coming up now. All right. There we go. It's a privilege. I like that answer. Thank you, Taira. <clears throat> okay, so while we wait for the rest, for those who, of you who just came in, okay, for those of you who just came in, um, I need you to go to the chat section and click on this link over here. Okay, the chat section and click on this link over here. So you could put in your input uh, to the question I have, which is of being academic. What does being an academic mean to you? Okay, so that's the link over there. You can go, uh, you can get the link also from the site here. Okay, so we'll start with that while we wait for the rest of us to arrive. Okay. Thirty-three. Okay. Umo, how many are we expecting? Um, we just around around fifty actually, but um, <laughs> since this is record, so ah, okay, if so you want to start, by all means, you can start first. All right, thank you. Mo. Okay. All right, so we we'll go. Let's we'll start from Melina, yeah. So assalamualaikum, selamat pagi, semua. Um, the title today, octopus that performs. I got the idea about the octopus because um, after. A little bit more than 10 years of being a lecturer in UM, an academic in UM. I feel like I'm, I have many hands that, that, that has to do things at one, at one time. And uh, there are so many things going on. And I see that some of my colleagues, especially perhaps the younger ones, um, are not able to cope very well and sometimes I I feel like I, I have to share something that I have been practicing in order for um, some maybe some tips okay in order for us to see the bigger picture of us being an academic so as an academic um, we realize that we do have multiple responsibilities and multiple um, deliverables and they are just one after another but they are so different in nature compared to another yeah so i'll go to this first and i would like to gauge what you guys feel about being an academic and uh i could see the biggest answer the most common answer is actually research perhaps because we are a research university so research is the highlight okay and 
we could see the second one is teaching. So teaching by right, teaching is the first priority of us being an academic. So I can see the word lecturer here, uh, teaching people, uh, responsibility, researching, teaching and learning as a mentor, advisor. Supervision is the third, th third word that's largest uh, together with sharing. So yes, we have the right spirit here. It's about us to share and disseminate and share what we know and what we have. Good. <laughs> like headless chicken. <laughs> there we go. Uh, multitasking is crazy. Uh, this perhaps comes from the same person. Multitasking is crazy like headless chicken. Uh, and a job I love. Okay, taxing. Yeah, it's quite tiring and taxing. Teach, publish. So it's around there. And I do see a few administrative duties here. Uh, I do see uh, admin works here and there. Advisor. Okay, advisor, mentor. This is uh, more on... Uh, the nature is more on supervision kind of thing. Okay. So we talk about research. We talk about creating new knowledge and publishing it. Okay. So research is not just um, doing the actual research in the lab or in the setting, the research setting that we have. It actually means creating knowledge that is novel or answering questions, okay, finding solutions. Okay. And teaching is to to, to tell, to, to, to um, provide the knowledge or to share what we know to others in order for that person to be able to reach a certain level, a certain understanding or a certain scale. So those are two different uh, tasks altogether in nature, by right in nature. Research is more uh, intrinsic. You look for the question, you, you, you think about it and you do it and you experiment it and you do data collection because you want that novel, that new knowledge, the novelty, that, that is the research bit. Okay, the understanding, the people, um, you had a question and the question was not answered before. But teaching is more um, telling people or guiding people or sharing with people what you know or what you have or um, in order for that person to achieve a certain standard or certain understanding. So this, by right, these two is already different in nature. Okay, so we'll talk about that a little bit more. Um, can I get you to answer the second uh, question? Okay, how much do you enjoy these activities? Um, would you be able to access this? Okay, how much do you enjoy these activities? Okay, so we have this in the... Okay, let me just go back there. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll try to copy this one. How much do you enjoy? Okay, we talk about enjoy and what we know what we do. We know what we have to do. I want to know what you enjoy doing. So I'll post it here. Okay. Sending. Okay, so there's a second one there. There's a second one there. And okay, we can see people's. Ah, nice one. Society contribution. Okay, teaching, research. Provision. Okay, uh, there may be other things that you do as an academic that I did not put in. It's okay. <clears throat> we just want to gauge the idea of what you do like and you enjoy doing. Okay, and this is very dependent on who comes to this uh, webinar or this sharing session. Uh, so our samples are you guys, yeah. It may not reflect the whole UM's opinion, but it's okay. So let's see, we have teaching and society contribution, research, supervision, um, business and commercialization. Perhaps not many of us are doing and perhaps that's uh, not, not part of what you think you should do as an academic. Supervision. 
and I can see teaching, research, and society contribution uh, on the high side. keeps it, it keeps fluctuating on the on that high side, but, but the administrative. Okay, I think someone, someone switch on their administrative duties or administrative task. Not many of us um, enjoy. So it, it's it's there at two point two all the way from the beginning. Teaching is climbing. Research, yes, supervision, and we could see the the background color is how many people answer, what scale. Okay, so recent of you are more on a four out of five kind of thing. Supervision, um, quite distributed there, but teaching. Us really enjoy teaching. That's really wonderful. Society contribution. Yes, this is where we feel the purpose of our life, right? Society contribution. We actually uh, meet the people we we mean to help and we actually help them so that's where i get the highest here but at the same time i we do get uh, uh not many people enjoy this okay so that's a rough idea of how people can okay, you can also see administrative least uh, eight people say least five eight is more on the the, the lower side of the spectrum okay that's good to know. So I'll get back to my slides. Okay. okay. I'll just share a little bit about myself um, before we go any further. Um, we have, as an academic, we have all these things to juggle or different domains to perform in. So I, we have teaching. We have research, we have society, we have the administration. Okay, so you could do this on your own for yourself just to reflect on you. Uh, how are you with these different domains of um, roles as an academic? <clears throat> okay, we can't run away from them. Teaching research, society. So I've done, after a little bit more than 10 years, I've done, um, I was the uh, course coordinator. I have been the, uh, developing new courses um, in our department. We have a new program altogether, not a new course, but a new program altogether. And I was uh, one of the earliest. So I, I helped the first batch until... Um, I think until the fifth batch of uh, students of that program to go through a complete program. So there's a lot of uh, new courses going on, attachment, uh, administration work. But at least I get to see the bigger picture of doing a program. Yeah, uh, in terms of research, um, I'm not so excellent in research. Okay, my H index is um, nine, so that's like a Okay la, you know, not not super like I, I know a lot of people are having a lot more a bigger number there. Um, I developed my own lab, so it's in uh, our department. Um, few publications um, and uh, a few awards in terms of research, books and book chapter. Uh, in terms of teaching, also. Um, some I've, I've received some awards and recognition in teaching and learning and innovation on that side. Yeah, um, eight PhD and eleven masters. Uh, C test. Yeah, some people question the validity and reliability of C test, but um, so far it has always been above four for me, over five. Um, in terms of society. If you have heard of uh, the program, let's go to Mummy's Lab. So we go to schools, we do um, STEM education for children below uh, 10 years old, so roughly 4 years old, kindergarten and uh, early primary. Um, pri parenting in STEM, we go to um, even rural schools in, in 
Sarawak Miri in uh, Segamat in uh, where have I been? Uh, yes, uh, uh, yeah. And uh, some of my works are also featured in mass media, BFM recently um, about um, about my biomechatronics and neuroprosthetics work. Um, some other on my society work. And administration, currently I am in ADAC. I'm the head of unit of research. If you know about the UM Lighter Grant and the Lighter Conference, which is the Learning Improvement and Teaching Enhancement Research Conference. Okay. Um, Emerald Program, Emerald Trainings, uh, as part of ADAC's uh, program as well. So those are the things I've, I've been doing. And I would really say that uh, it has been enjoyable. It, it has been chaotic, but I think because I enjoy the chaoticness, I enjoy the chaos. So that's why um, I, I like doing these things. And when, even though um, they, uh, they, 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 they keep me switching my minds between one to another, one to another. And this is, these are just the, the tip of the iceberg. Okay. But the, the work that is done below, the background work, there's a lot more going on. So, um, I would like to mention the word spillover effect. Okay. So, the spillover effect is uh, where you have what you do in teaching spills over to your research and your society and your administration. The, the thing you do in research spills over to your teaching and your society and admin. So that's how I, what I mean, the spillover effect. And whatever you do in your society, it spills over to your teaching and research and administration. Same wise in um, admin, by, have, by being in ADAC and by meeting all of you, I also learn a lot of new things from from teaching perspective, from research perspective, and from society perspective. So that's the tagline I want uh, to introduce early now. It's the spillover effect, if you could um, remember that. So we'll, we'll keep on that a, a few uh, towards this uh, one, one, one hour plus, okay? So let's differentiate between academic multitasking and multitasking itself. You can see the little octopus over there. Oh, it's not little, it's a big octopus, yeah? So that's the octopus over there. And when we talk about academic multitasking, we are talking about the different tasks that we have to do in order for us to achieve. And these are the ones that people see. Like I mentioned just now, the tip of the iceberg, yeah? These are the things that we see. Your paper that got uh, accepted and published. Your teaching, um, you got uh, whatever score of your CTES is, your students um, passing, you know, 100% of your student pass. So those are the achievements. Your books that is out there, um, all the achievements. But we realize that at the bottom, there's a lot more going on that you have to deal with and handle and you know juggle in order for you to get to this to build this tip of the iceberg okay multitasking on the other hand okay is the the job switching okay um it's it's usually a business term or maybe a career term or an, a, a common term that people refer to or people use when they refer to Maybe a mom while cooking, also cleaning, also tending for the baby and, you know, doing all these things. And at the same time, for example, um, while you're driving, you're listening to the radio and learning something from the radio. <coughs> uh, or answering your phone calls while you're doing something else. Or during a conference, you're listening to the conference uh, speaker. At the same time, you're writing your email and answering your email. So you are switching. Okay, so those that's what multitasking in the in in the sense that people understand, that we all understand. Okay. So I'd like us to realize that that's that's this little 
slight difference or maybe if you want to put it a big difference between academic multitasking and actual multitasking okay so we'll get there okay um i would like to get you to answer this but before that i would like to know you guys a little bit more while we answer okay so i'll copy this and i'll put it in our chat section like just now okay so before uh while we do this okay uh, um, maybe we can have a some time about one minute or two minutes okay we don't need a long story just an example of how you what kind of multitasking task that you have in mind right now that is uh, related to ac your academic role that you want to share with us or you want to get help in that department yeah so more than welcome to write down there okay um i would like to get to know you guys a little bit more in the meantime so we have nadra we have binotini afika suzlin azwati rabiatul adawia suzana arif raja elina okay let me go to the participant list okay we have Encik Ahmad bin Yusof, Amy. Oh, Dr. Farah, hi. Alamak, bos saya ada dalam ni lah. Segan lah. <laughs> we have uh, Fazlina, we have Linda, Dr. Irene, Dr. Jamie, Dr. Jeevan, Kamaria, uh, Dr. Mazia. Welcome everybody, Dr. Nick Elina. Oh, we have a guest here. Siapa ya guest ni? Dot uh, Ong SB. I was I was uh, told that we have a few people from outside of University Malaya. Uh, hi, Dr. Azza. Hi. Uh, the one with the guest in bracket is from uh -huh. outside University Malaya. Ah, okay. Ah, ni kawan sekolah saya masa kecil ni. Dr. Wan Lutfi. Boleh tak hello sikit? Biar kita spotlight biar dia. dia. Kita tengok. Dr. Wan Lutfi boleh on camera? Kawan sekolah saya masa kecil ni. Assalamualaikum Dr. Wan. So Dr. Wan is a lecturer in University Putra. Okay, thank you Dr. Wan for joining. Okay, kita stop, stop spotlight dia. Nanti dia malu. Okay, anyone want to uh, share orally what you expect from this um, session? <coughs> While we go to this um, voting part. Anybody nak share secara oral? What do you expect from this session? What do you hi, hi. particularly want to learn? Yes. Uh, hi, who's that? May I know? Karo Saida here. Saida, okay. Yes. Uh, I can't uh, see you, but uh, I can't see you right now. Hang on. Let me can try you to see find me? Ah, hi, okay. Yes. Uh, I'm very new, which is very new. Not that new, sangat pun. Uh, actually, three years in UM. Some extent, I love EDEC, one thing. Uh, I think EDEC make is going, yes, I love EDEC, I love EDEC, uh, to realize how important trainings uh, for lecturers, yeah? Trainings for us to up, uh, enhance and upskill uh, whatever you are in. And uh, I'm very new, I was a practice for 17 years or something, jump into career, uh, this academic line, uh, but I never regret it even one day. I love the job, I love the job. But I'm still uh, uh, learning and observing and figure out how to be, can I say good academics? Uh, it's not really good. It, how to be, uh, um, you know, to, to, to have this role, it's not easy yeah? to be academic. Like you say, I, I love your, 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 your. Uh, even from the uh, about from you, from, it's about you and of the 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 uh, the tip of the iceberg. It is true. It's definitely true. So many things you need to do compared to industry. We are very busy as well. But at least I have time to sit down and have a rest. You know. But for academic, it's non-stop working. But kinda you enjoying it? Just 
just weird actually so <laughs> <laughs> just weird it's true just weird but you you kind of happy to some extent and suffering it's not suffering as per se because you have to do a lot of things you know a lot a lot of things and it keep you going of mm, i'm not doing actually for myself i'm doing for my student for example i'm not doing for me i'm contributing back to society that thing you think that actually always rationalize and justify to myself is okay say that just go on go on and and the, the thing i want to learn from this of course mm, how do you do it you know because even third year i still like Getting, getting the the time. How say that? Okay, how you have to focus for your research? One thing, out one, one, one. And somehow, when when you don't really, because I'm a very high performance uh, staff, I would say. But when be in lecture, I feel say that can you do more? But I can't. We only have thirty four hours per day. So my loot to Allah anyway, because you know how can you give excuses? Or oh, I don't have time because I have a lot of things to do. Cannot, cannot. It's just cannot. So. And you do know it's going to impact your 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 family as well, you know, kesian anak anak tak cukup kasih sayang, that kind of thing, it thing, kan? So you have to again, you have to realize and admit we have different different kind of role. How are we going to manage it? You know, as a mother, as a wife, as a lecturers, and and your your role as a lecturer not only as teaching and learning only. The students come over to you, this kind of thing, you know, that kind of thing. So. Yeah, I, I won't really have that so that I can tell myself, Eddie, it's okay, Saida. You are doing it. You are doing it because I still at least have uh, 13, 14 years before my retirement. So I, I love the job. Frankly, I love the job. I, I love at that. That's why I said it, so it made me much it, when, when having with at that, it made me hmm. It's okay, Saida. Yeah, it's a hectic job when you go to edit training. I think it, during your physical physical training, so I was like, hmm, it's, it's just nice to be here to talk to people, different kind of people, share together and and. And with with your 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 speakers as well, so awesome all the while. And you know, when I cannot, you can ask. Oh, I, I cannot attend. And I will be like, huh? Oh, I cannot attend. I have classes and what sort. So yeah, I love it because I think this this extra thing thing is very important to any higher institutions to tell the truth. Yeah, so that the the lecturers, the academic per se, can see we are okay. <laughs> can I say that we are okay? We are surviving. We are doing good. We are. Good, good, you know, that kind of thing. Okay, so I, don't, don't let me start talking then. Yeah, that, that's how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Saida. Yeah, uh, yeah. I really love listening from you about what we do and uh, okay. so, highlighting what? True. We need to jug. We need. To, I don't. I don't want to use the word juggle because it's. Uh, it has a different connotation. But we do have to do a lot of things. Let me just double check with the uh, the the part. Let me just see your responses for that answer. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm still struggling on being. Yeah, I think this one. That you you try to ah uh, that you you answer just now. Okay. Ah, uh, there you go. Okay. Ah, uh, excited to learn handling MOU for the faculty PhD colloquium. Okay. Okay, let's all read what other people have. Uh, reading and correcting the PhD final thesis, preparing the consultation project, write a proposal to buy the air compressor. <laughs> Today, need to submit my kids' textbook. Oh yeah, kids in the picture. I don't want to start on that. Don't forget to buy groceries on my way home. Yes, exactly. Life, life as it is. Okay, it's when I, I don't know. Maybe it's the role of academic change. I think back a little bit more than ten years before, from from now. Okay, so when I decided, I decided to become a lecturer very early age. Okay, I know I want to become. A, I want to be a lecturer because I enjoy teaching my friends during my uni time. And maybe because um, my idea of being a lecturer is teaching and meeting students. I didn't realize the part of administration. I didn't realize the part of research. Okay. Ah, Dr. Doria is here. Hello, Doria. And thanks to Umu for bringing me in. I want to know 
how to tame the anxiety every day is about checking things off a long list if you can finish all yay if you can only check one item off oh no second <laughs> okay i'm dealing and uh, thank you dr doria i'm dealing and executing more than one task simultaneously stop sort of non-stop working adapting to the environment yeah i need to complete my phd Writing up the chapters, publishing, okay. At work, besides teaching, I need to do consultancy project and other forms of services. People who are not in the academic world may not realize this multitasking, academic multitasking that we have to perform. Maybe our parents during daytime, maybe they, they themselves are lecturers. And the demand and expectation of academicians during our parents' time, because some of us are influenced by our parents, who are also um, academicians, are different than what we have now. Even my husband, when we, uh, in the early years of getting married and becoming a lecturer, I'm, I'm busy, busy, busy. And, Apa yang busy sangat? Lecturer mengajar je kan? Uh, you know, that 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 perception. I have to go up the telinga. Oh, yeah, you know, they tak faham ke, you know? Because... It's not just one thing, okay? Being a, a, a person in a business or a company setting, you have one task, one task, and it's given to you one task. Right now, because we have the, um, we somehow, as an academic, we have the autonomy. People just give things to us to expect, things to do, to perform, our KPI, our teaching, our things to submit. But um, the the arrangement and organization of time, we, it's our decision. It's our our own skill that we have to develop. Nobody really teach us or nobody really share or guide on how to manage. We don't have a course, how to manage multi-task, mul multiple tasks or multiple performance expectation how to make it there's no of such that is why i i realize that we have to really talk about this okay i can offer tips i can offer um what i read from the literature there's not much about the literature uh, about this on the literature but at least when we talk about it some things we can pick up and we can use because most of it is from experience we learn best from our experience okay what we read is only maybe 10 or 20 percent of what we have but hopefully this will become like a seed for you to um think about and maybe pick some one or two uh, skills to practice okay? but once you start practicing is you will realize whether it works for you or not okay so i'll read the the next one started with my claim that my multitasking skill isn't good at all however taking up an admin pose okay seems to have honed my multitasking skills. I believe that the fact that you are tasked with more responsibilities make you pick up the skills fast. True. That's very true. I, I report on duty 2010. I became the program coordinator 2011. So just one year or two years after. One, 2011 or 2000, 2011. That was the year I fell pregnant with my first baby, Zahra. So... Pregnancy, whole life changing experience, becoming the administration, uh, an administrat having that administrative role at that time of my career, it somehow pushed me into learning all these skills by myself and picking up. And there are good stories, there are bad stories, okay, but um, each of us are given this opportunity okay, to, to, to go through it and it's what you get from it and what you share from it. Okay, so I'll stop here about this bit. Um, I'll go back to my slides. Thank you for those sharing. Yeah, so if we look at multitasking itself, multitasking by itself, not the academic multitasking, okay? Is good? What do you think? Just, just some shout out from, the, from your speakers. Multitasking by itself, is it good or bad? Can I can I hear some 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 um, voices, or maybe you want to type on the chat section? Good or bad? Just just a few. Okay, Lim Pokwen, good. Ah, one Mariam. 
one you want to ask a question about this okay i'll get to your question okay equal good good uh, uh, wani get uh, okay one more is that you uh, yes yes uh, okay yes please uh, yes, yes. I, i i i'm i'm actually from usm tapi just not join lah <laughs> macam <laughs> best je because uh, i i have to do this anyway um i want to ask because uh, some I mean, when you do multitasking, there is an issue of quality, kan? But I mean, it's a question of um, when you multitask ni, you not sip cepat, 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 cepat. So at the end, macam, would that not be a problem? Yes, that will be a problem. Thank you for your question. So, um, multitasking by itself, in my personal opinion, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's good. Okay, so I'll get there. I hear, I see here, uh, detrimental in the long run, bad doing it anyway, <laughs> good, uh, alwani gelak, bad, bad, good, okay, mix, mix answer here, okay, so let's get back to that uh, slide, okay, thank you Dr. Wan Mariam for asking, okay, what does multi, okay, I think we have um, uh, gauge this from you, Uh, we have limited time, we have limited energy. But there's also that sense of accomplishment we want to get. That's, you know, that's the word sense there. So, it may not be the actual accomplishment, but bila kita siap satu benda tu, we feel that uh, it's, okay, okay, done. My part is done, okay. So, this can be any one of us, okay. It doesn't have to be a lady. Okay, a guy can also be tending their baby while working. So, it's there's no gender bias here. There's multitasking of the job itself and multitasking of the other things in life. Okay. Okay. This, we, we talk about the, the multitasking part right now. Okay. Your brain is jumping back and forth between the task. Okay, so... So, you focus briefly one at a time. That's why Dr. Wan Maria mentioned just now, quality will be affected. Because you nak cepat, nak cepat, nak siap, nak siap, kan? Because there's 24 hours. But out of that 24 hours, only 8 hours are spent at work. But out of that 8 hours, you still need to go lunch, maybe toilet breaks, solat, catching up with friends. Ah, itu susah nak cakap, eh? Kang saya kata tak bagus kang tak ada orang nak datang jumpa saya pula. Okay, but those are the things. So you are left with sometimes you go to work. These are the days before COVID. Eh, you drive, you bangun pagi, siapkan anak-anak, hantar taska, hantar sekolah. Okay, uh, perempuan nak kena ayun tudung dulu. Okay, pakai drive all the way. I live in Kajang. I work in uh, Kuala Lumpur, UM, PJ. So it's a one hour. I reach there, sometimes I, after the whole day coming back home, I don't think I did anything except shuffling things around, moving things around, okay? But the, 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 the idea here is you are focusing briefly one at a time and it does, it does affect your concentration, it does affect your quality of work, it does. It's different than when we're doing your Most of us have done our PhDs, yeah? When you do your PhD, you have that whole cuti. So, you only makan, tidur, bangun, PhD saja. Your own research. So, you have that whole block of solid time. Whatever you do, your brain is just there doing your PhD. But once you finish your PhD, you start becoming an academic. And you have all these different roles. Ah, you kena in charge JIT, eh? you kena in charge uh, student LI, eh? you kena in charge the, 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 the. and then, oh, but uh, by the way, because you your PhD, you got five papers, right? Okay, we expect that uh, from you also, you have to do uh, a lot of research juga. Uh, we expect that you have all this performance, just like when you were doing your PhD, we know you can do it. Uh, But, 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 oh, okay, if you find it difficult, okay, go find student. We have to have students. Uh, but for me, yeah, 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 I know. For you to have students, you have to have grant. Okay, go write your grant. So, it never stops. I need this, I have to do this. I need this, I have to do this. I need this, I have to do this. But I'm struggling from the beginning 
of managing this whole thing, not even thinking, quality thinking of any one task. Just to do all that without even sitting down is already a task. So I like to focus on the word energy here. And this energy is spent by your brain jumping back and forth. Okay, so that's the, the article over here if you want to go uh, uh, look for it further. That's the energy. Um, I'm an engineer, so I, I can't run away from all this entropy, you know. So that's the energy that is dissip that's used, that's dissipated, that is not captured. It's your energy that is wasted. Just jumping. So you spend more energy jumping than actually spending that energy doing. That's multitasking on its bad side. Okay. So one tip that this article shared is to mix your activities correctly. So you, if you are thinking about um, a task that you multitask, you you combine activity that requires your cognitive, your thinking bit, with something that is more autopilot. I like to do this when I'm driving to work. So I do, that's why I don't mind driving from Kajang to, to PJ, hadap traffic, because in the car is when I actually think. My first traffic light coming up from my... Okay, this is a bad example. Don't follow me. Okay, kenyak mata eh. My first traffic light coming out from my house in my car, that is my first office. That's where I check. Okay, I check my phone, check my email. Whatever I can, or not, maybe not email, WhatsApp. Whatever I can clear off, I just answer yes, no. Dip, 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 done. Okay, so one part of that um, checklist, you know, not checklist, but to do the thing I do. Otherwise, before those days before we had WhatsApp, that thing started 10 o'clock in the morning when I open my office key, sit in my room office, switch on my uh, PC. I start doing that at that time. But now that we have um, mobile phones, smartphones, um, WhatsApp and smartphones and you know, smartphone lah basically. My first office is my first traffic light. So don't tell people, don't tell, don't tell the police. But yes. That's how I try to get things done, okay? But it may, you have to be careful. You you have to know that traffic light and you know the, the nature of it so in order for you not to get into danger. But um, my driving time is where I think. I think. So no one else, tak ada anak-anak jumping in the car. There's no, you know, people here and there. It's just me and myself in the car. So that one hour, I make use for it to think about. If I don't want to think, it's okay. It's for me to rest. Switch on the radio and listen to whatever I want to listen. Just okay, clear my mind off. So, let's keep in mind that word energy there and the word jumping. Okay, so when you multitask, you're jumping from one focus to another and that jumping is actually an energy span. Okay, so you either mix your lightly, okay, meaning, um, while doing something that is cognitive, you are doing something autopilot at the same time. So, um, that is okay. That is an okay multitasking. And another thing is uh, about multitasking, this is not to myself, don't be forced into meaningless in Okay. Read your time according to someone else's schedule and finish one thing at a time. When I was younger, okay, sekarang still young eh, okay. but when I was younger, because maybe because you're young, you tend to um, uh, hormat more, you have more people to, to, to answer to and you, you segan to say no. So, you kind of um, um, give in to other people's requests. So, you have your schedule run nicely, plan. When you go to work, uh, now you don't even have to go to work to get that interruption. Oh, can you please help me with this? Uh, can, uh, can you uh, help me with, uh, uh, what's this? Uh, where's this form? Well, uh, you know, you get all these interruptions. Okay. As much as possible, don't be forced into meaningless interruption. I would like to highlight the word meaningless here. Meaningless interruptions. So if you are up to it 
and you think what you're doing is not not so crucial to complete at that time then maybe you you say okay lah let's 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 chat a little bit you know have coffee a little bit or whatever but uh if you are doing something that you want to complete finish so don't be forced into it unless you know we are working from home uh, meaningless interruption can be my little naura mama cantik tak baju nana oh okay itu somewhat meaningless cantik okay go 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 but if my my youngest son zaid is crying so that's not meaningless that is meaningful interruption ah ma wa wa i want i want something okay so that's kind of interesting. so you decide what's meaningless to you and what's not meaningless okay that's for you to decide you ask, if you ask me i will say that's for you to decide um someone else's schedule let's let's keep it um work related right now okay someone else's schedule you have your colleague asking for marks from another course you know you are one of the person who give marks yes you have to give her or him that mark but at that time it is not crucial for you to answer to him or her so just make, make a note yes i'll give it to you when i'm ready you can uh, berani sikit lah to to make that statement okay i'll give it to you when 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 do you want it once the latest time you want it yesterday he say ah then too bad lah but if there's time plan it into your time okay so the key here is to finish one thing at a time so that you don't spend that energy jumping okay so academic multitasking in the other on the other hand is what we say just now that we have to perform and we have to have that hustle that come tip of the ice we want to build okay we go through the what who when why and i i was able to um diff, for you to differentiate between multi as in life or on normal standard what people understand about multitasking and academic multitasking okay so what how does it look like okay um i have prepared this but i think we don't need to go to that because i got ten your answer from a slide like at one time so we we'll skip this the what can also be answered from the literature i i search and i just found these three articles from 2013 2015 16 because the uh, advanced application uh, publication is in 2015 but the actual publication is in okay and another one is in 2018 the one i really like is this one from um uh, when the state this one this commentary so um he, what he addresses is actually what we are talking right now okay the the other two are more um multitasking as in the effect of the effect of the normal multitasking into academic works and the answer is no you shouldn't multitask okay the, uh, multitasking is bad for you it doesn't matter if you're an academic or non academic multitasking by itself um delays thing okay um so i can share with you the articles uh, if you request towards the end of the session okay um and i think this 2015 and the 16 article came about when uh there was this hoo ha about uh, there was the time where academics were have always been meant to teach the role is to teach and then suddenly this all this ranking came into picture and then uh, instead of just prime uh, few universities as were asked to um, publish and do research that re that expectation has 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 gone to all the universities okay so those are that was the time okay and this was also the time when i it was uh five years down the line after i came back from my phd and i think most of us came back from our phd if you are about the same uh, age or uh, mid career like me this was about the time where uh, we used to enjoy teaching we used to talk about teaching during our uh, meetings we used to talk about our students our courses during faculty meetings but there's one time where we just stop talking about it and we just talk about grant and how to publish and how to cut, cut corners and how to do all these nasty things related to high expectation but not enough 
guidance. Okay, so um, yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll share with you about that. So, okay, let's try to model this multitasking in terms of academic. Okay, the easiest way of us uh, imagining the, this model of uh, multitasking academic is the easiest, simplest form is a sine wave. Okay, you clock in and then you go back home. Work and drive back home. So the energy you spend is actually in the commute or the movement between work to home. Some of these are um, educational institutions still have this until now. They think, and maybe even my husband thought before I, I was in UM full-fledged, you know, Alah, jadi lecturer kan pergi mengajar je. So, so maknanya, at home, go to work, clock in, do whatever you need to do over there, teach, teach. If there's no teaching, you relax, you can have coffee, uh, prepare your lecture note or mark your assignments or whatever, come back home. And then repeat, repeat, repeat. Okay, so still, the energy is spent there between the commutes between these two. Uh, going to work, clock in and come back home okay but when you start to have different roles okay those days when they start saying uh, university lecturers have to also publish you know do research you can't just publish if you don't do research come on you cannot publish out of thin air out of not doing you have to do the experiment plan the experiment do the data collection do the data analysis but in order for you to do that you need students, in order for you to get students, you may have to need grants, you may have to write first, so that's a long back, back story there, okay? But if we, if we modify this model a little bit, it becomes like this. So be, between teaching and research, there's also that switch in energy, okay? Teaching, research. You're, you're doing teaching and then suddenly your student comes in to talk about research or after you, you go back to your desk and you start writing your research grant. For so that's, that's that, that little energy there. Okay. So that's energy spent as well. Let alone this big gap between going to work and coming back from work itself. Okay. So that's the energy of, of shifting your state of mind. And that little energy is also spent between the different activities you have. Teaching and research, teaching and research. So I'm talking about days, times in week. Okay, this is your time. This is your one year or one week of uh, time. Okay, so uh, that's where you energy. So I, I want to keep in mind that word energy there. The reality is perhaps more like this. Yeah. You have teaching, research, your admin, your community, and then house chore, and then you sleep. Your real rest is down here. Sometimes you don't even get enough sleep. Yeah? Sometimes you don't sleep. Sometimes you sleep longer. Uh, maybe, okay, but this these graphs I, I got just from the internet, uh, just for us to have an idea. Okay? But the different, this is no in that. Uh, the, the arrangement on the side here is in no particular order, yeah? It's just to show that there are different tasks. So, so you may have to swap between teaching and supervision. Between supervision and admin, you have to change to think about your community work and think back about your research. Change, change, change. So this is what happening when you... This is why you feel stressed, okay? You are changing your, your scope of thinking. Yeah, uh, different from when you're doing your PhD. Your PhD might be like this. When you were doing PhD, you, you might be like this. So this is your work, as in your PhD work. Okay, you're only thinking about one thing. And then, not PhD, maybe uh, come back home, rest, watch TV. But tomorrow you continue again. But, but um, it has changed from that into this and into this. And you can see how many energy, or even this. Now, you have this 3D spiral where you have other people's schedule in your schedule. You have to you have to synchronize your work with other people's work. 
and uh, the time effect as in semester and non-semester and then uh, grand deadline so that 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 time becomes an a factor as well okay but hopefully not like this lah this is a random time signal where you don't know what you're doing you just like you're just like crazy 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 you come back home letih crazy 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 come back home letih in the end kpi tak achieve paper tak accepted because you you do, you you are moving you are doing too much movement but there's no real outcome coming from it so that is very depressing that is really if it, it happened to me once or twice okay i look at my kpi i said day penat i penat you know penat buat macam 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 but it didn't reach the iceberg if you remember the picture of the 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 octopus and the iceberg is not it nothing comes up at that top but there's so much movement down here chi, 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 chi. okay so hopefully we avoid ourselves you can see there's a lot of energy here jumping 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 in there but there's not enough significant output okay so let's revisit this yes you have that change okay in busy and 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 uh orang kata apa mm, messy okay but if you realize there are certain things that the energy level the red ones if you see the red ones sorry the red ones okay the energy level for you to switch is actually not much and we talk about energy that's big energy that's low energy Okay, so the other trick is, okay, for us to realize of me getting that task done, will it take too much time and effort from me? If the time and effort is not much, maybe you don't have to delay. Maybe you just, have, you know, for example, um, I'm, I'm working very much into my proposal, for example, and a student message me, WhatsApp me. Doktor, boleh tak nak jumpa sekejap? And then the first question I ask, nak jumpa lama ke nak jumpa sekejap? Sekejap je doktor nak dapatkan signature. Okay, boleh. So that one, I don't think that's, uh, I don't I don't take it as a uh, serious interruption. You nak sign je kan? Because when when I get, when I give her that signature sign, it, it actually enables that person, that student of mine or whoever that is, to go do what is necessary that, to produce the output then i'm also related with that output so i'm already delegating by me giving that signature and understanding a little bit and sign the energy level that i give is just a little bit but i have passed the buck to that person for that person to do and and finish the job and the the complete the completion is done that so you are delegating okay or it can also be um send me send me the marks okay Again, I, I lost it, for example, okay? So, I have to just, I want to spend my energy on that. If it's in, I'm, I'm on my PC, I'm, I'm on my laptop, it's, the file is just in front, a few clicks away, I will say, okay, hang on, tick, 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 send, okay, done. So, that's that kind of multitasking that I would say, uh, I won't delay. Or, can you check this, okay? It's important. But it's not in my timeline now. So I have to rethink whether my time spent on that is worth that delegating and empowering other people. At the same time, it's just not much of en my energy. Same case, but different scenario. I'm working on my uh, uh, proposal, for example. Okay. I have my WhatsApp on my phone. My students say, or my, my colleagues say, send me the marks. I don't have the internet right now. So I'll say that will be for me to send it to her. It becomes a big energy because I have to shift to a place where I have internet, maybe switch on the Wi-Fi or arrange with my daughter to get that done. So that becomes the big energy. So for that, I will say I will do it later. Not right now because I'm working right now. Okay. So it really depends on that energy level you spend jumping. Is it worth, okay? And is it too much? If it's not too much, the red ones, for for me, my opinion is just do it. Get it done, get it done. 
you have to have that skill of differentiating whether it's too much an effort or not too much an effort. Okay. So um, with this in mind, I hope uh, second lesson or second takeaway, the first one was the spillover effect. Try to do something that will benefit the other domains. Okay. So that you can score that four domains or quadrants simultaneously. The second one is to consider that energy spend in order for you to get that done. If it's not much energy, even if it's not in your plan, just get it done. That's my take lah, just get it. But if, if it's not, let's say you're doing something else, that's really acquiring a lot of energy, then maybe for me, I will say, bila you nak, minggu depan boleh, uh, Friday boleh, uh, you know, that kind of negotiation. So then, so usually people are very um, understanding. Yeah, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Um, we don't need it right now. They may say that. So, yeah, okay. So, just plan it well, okay? So, that one. Okay. Um, I want to stop here for a while. It's already 11 o'clock. Um, how is it so far? Can I get you to answer this question? Who is it for? All of us? Academics, lecturer, academic. Okay. Who? Let's try to answer the who. In the chat section here okay and at the meantime i'll try to go through this okay and uh if you have any tips or any points to share this is your time about the who eh? we're talking about who siapa yang terlibat dengan academic um, multitasking me. so I'll, I'll break for two minutes i'm going to read this in the meantime if you want to talk or if you want to type in here, okay? So, give me a while. Yes, yeah, yeah. So, this is my little meaningful interruption. Baru bangun, baru habis kelas online, kan? <laughs> Say hello. This is my second daughter. She's She has the diamond in her mouth, so she, she's the type. Okay. Kejap, ya. Yeah, I go back. Uh, all right. My seniors told me, the busier you are, the more... Is this profile za? My seniors told me, the busier you are, the more productive you'll be. But I don't feel that way. Is this profile za? Anybody want to let me know? Is profile za here? Okay, so long we can make a distinction. Okay, Amy, you mentioned the word prioritization. Thank you. That's good. We not in it. Good when it proper planning. Yep, know your practice. So it's about prioritization. I hear the word here. Ah, Lim Poku and you perli I what happened to mindful driving? <laughs> yes. After a while you you get that skill. <laughs> Hmm, thinking while driving. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, thinking while, yeah, brisk walking. Some of you exercise, you do your jogging and that's where you think. That's good. That's multitasking. Keeping healthy. <laughs> Zahe, don't call the kajang police. <laughs> ah, tukar kereta lah macam ni. Look for your MyV. Yes, I love my MyV. Okay, prioritizing tasks and being assertive. Good. Good. Doing one thing at a time is not multitasking, right? Yes, you're right. One thing at a time is not multitasking. Multitasking is when we we switch, we keep switching. Chup, 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 chup. Uh, that's not. But when you decide to one thing at a time, okay? But that's why I put the word academic multitasking because it has a different connotation to it. Okay, monotasking, switching between multiple monotasking, multitasking. Okay, you can put it that way. Thank you, uh, Dr. Lim Po Quen. Eh? Let's cry together. <laughs> okay, please share. Uh, Dr. Wan Lutfi, you are referring to which one? Eh? Yes, please share. Ni. Maybe my tips good. Eh? Appropriate amount of multitasking is good training. It is bad when sometimes... Uh, yeah. Yes, Dr. Irene, you're right. That is the skill that we academic need to develop. That 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 um switching, but smart switching, when to switch and when the thing the question here is when to switch and when not to switch. We know we have to switch because we have this four quadrant to fulfill. 
and we don't have a time where okay, uh, nobody will tell us, especially not um at university administration. Okay, from March to June is teaching. Don't do any research. No, no, nobody will tell you that. Okay, no, you will say, tak boleh research jalan lah, research jalan. Tapi kena teach juga, you know. Uh, so it's required from us that that double rule. Ah, uh, okay, Nadratul, you have to leave by eleven. It's okay. Okay, you can watch the recording. Okay. Ah, uh, Dr. Alwani, you asked at that time were you being bullied? Ah, uh, ten fifty nine. I cakap salah pun. Eh? At that time were you being bullied? Maybe I can ask you to ask again later. Academic. Okay, so. <laughs> spreading the concept of mindfulness okay being bullied okay being bullied okay it depends lah oh <laughs> the chak 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 eh ah uh, no 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 the the time i think i'm being bullied okay tak apalah ni ini kita share share lah eh the time when i think i'm being bullied is when i don't know how to say no so it's me lah i was young just got back from my phd uh maybe people think that uh phd fresh phd academic ni dia dia you know innocent and boleh diminta minta tolong lagi ha uh. so yeah you have to uh know how to say no lah uh, and that, that's a skill you get with time juga and you don't say no all the time like that then you are not cooperating okay uh so it cannot be too nice i i put the word too eh too nice because you want to help academic we have to share we have to have that collegiality spirit but at the same time you don't want to um uh, put yourself behind you know tak 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 terfikir sendiri punya masalah susah lah okay so we've answered the who when does it start when does it end and when does it apply to you Okay, this one I want to know from you. Sekejap ya, yeah. I'll copy this. And I'll post it, sorry, I'll post it here. Okay. okay. When does it start? When does it end? And when does it apply to you? Okay, let's try that. Uh, I myself have to go here. Eh. Which one is this? I forgot already myself. Uh, 21. Is it this one? When does it start? When does it end? And when does it apply to you? Okay. So we wait for some input. When does it start? This academic multitasking. When does it end? And when does it apply to you? You can answer any of the three questions or you can answer all the three questions. Up to you. Okay, we wait. A while the link is on the chat section here the link is here <laughs> hard question to answer kan Starts now, or it has already started, never ending. Okay, so we are referring to the academic multitasking, yeah, not the multitasking, the life multitasking that one applies to everyone. Okay, it's gonna be endless. Allah, don't love me too depressing. To me, it's gonna be endless, it's never ending. Okay. Okay. Bila pencen eh? Okay. Already started, never end. 
Okay, I, I, I give it a few more seconds before we conclude this um, this question. Mm -hmm. Start when we start to learn, probably during the learning process. Never ending journey as it applies when we are doing something academic related. Okay. Okay, and retired. Alright. We may... We may say it's never ending because as long as we are an academic and as long as the role expects us to do different things at one time, that is how long it will uh, be with us. Okay, It may end when I choose to leave the academia. Mm. Never ends till you decide to quit. Okay. 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 Uh, there's another one coming. Okay. Most of us say it's endless, or it it stops when you paint chain, or it stops when you when you retire. It's very true. The task on hand never end. But for me, I deliberately shut everything in the evening to allow myself to recover. I ni mesti zahir. Ni mesti zahir. Okay. Uh, allow myself to recover. Am I right? Or am I, is there another Zahe thinking the same here? Avoid burn, burn out and have the energy to go for the long run. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I'll conclude this one here. Right. So, um, it, it is safe to say, based on your answers as well, uh, it never ends. As long as you are an academic and you are expected to do that, those things, those uh, different domains of task. That's okay. So we need to pick up the skills. Okay, we need to really pick up the skills. There's another word. Um, so we're answering the why now. We need to pick up the skills, and uh, because it's multi-dimensional and multi. What do I mean by multi-dimensional and multi-level? The multi-dimension is the different dimension: teaching, research, community. So you are you're changing your cap all the time. But you can also have a big, a, a special cap that actually does all four at one time. That's what I mentioned again, the spillover effect. What you do for one thing is actually helping you for the other. And you ha the, the other thing you do, this is where um, when I do my lecture, I put in the results of my research. When I do my research, I involve my uh, university students, my teaching course students, to be part of that research, in some in some cases, lah. Okay, so I don't really split them down the middle like that, because I'm in charge. I know as long as I keep my ethics and value right, I'm not using people inappropriately or using the condition inappropriately. I could do it, so I don't feel so stressed about doing different things. Because I know how, I can I can see this. Okay, for example, my mummy's lab. From my mummy's lab is when I got the research idea about parenting in STEM. So it becomes my research grant, and my research grant becomes my community work at the same time. So, um, some people don't know how to split that. Okay, but uh, it's up to you to define what kind of job and what kind of task and where does it feel. Because in the end, you're answering to Allah. Answering to yourself, you're answering to Allah. And uh, the KPI or the expectation you get uh, from your colleagues, those are the things you want to satisfy. But you have to be true to, to be accountable to what you did. Okay, So that's the multi-dimensional. And the multi-level bit is some people are uh, in terms of Administration is up there, high level up there in terms of administration. But still, they have to do teaching and research as well. Some people are really into research. So the, the, the teaching and uh, administration may be sikit-sikit, you know, but um, still have to do. So it is multidimensional, meaning you have, if you can imagine, okay, again, the engineer in me comes in, uh, 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 XYZ plot. You have that four quadrant, but at the same time, you have that difference. So, it's like bukit-bukit lah, macam tu eh. Some are higher and some are lower than the others. So, this is why we have to somehow 
try to address all at the same time, but at the same time, effort-wise, okay, which one we want to increase or we, which one we want to um, lessen, okay? Uh, academic task does not come in linear blocks. We all know this. Like I mentioned just now, nobody tells you, okay, March to May, just do curriculum review. Okay, I have friends who are doing curriculum review. I don't know if they are here. Uh, curriculum review. It's really, really, really hard and it's really, it really looks like a linear block. Curriculum review from here to here. Macam dah tak boleh buat benda lain dah. Okay, macam, memang macam. I, I have gone through the phase as well. I do feel that it really takes the, takes the time and effort from doing other things. Because that's, that is a long block. Okay, uh, the accreditation body is coming in this time. So this whole time is blocked for that. So even though there are tasks, there are simple tasks that can be done on the site, they decide or they, they somehow cannot cope. And actually, that little energy, that little um, blips of energy can be addressed in order for you to you know, empower and delegate to other people. But even that little task you don't do or we don't do when we think of it as a linear block. Okay, because it doesn't come in linear block. You have that curriculum review, or that, that's called the administrative work. And then you have at the same time your classes, your teaching. So your teaching is maybe uh, four times a week, for example. Okay, so you have your blocks of classes. And then um, administration, uh, the block just now, the accreditation, the teaching part. So that already occupies your 24 hours times eight weeks or how many 12 weeks of your time so the research becomes later 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 sedangkan that research be, can be done by that little energy blip if you have someone helping you know maybe some maybe it's just a matter of reading it and giving critical input for two hours or finding fi finding time to sit down and find the reviewer of your paper and submit it sometimes people don't realize that it's easy to do, but because you see it as a linear block, you, 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 uh, tutup the other parts. Okay. So this is also what I hope you realize because I see some of my friends are struggling in this sense because they are looking at it as, selagi tak siap benda ni, dia tak boleh fikir benda lain. Okay. Maybe, um, you can start practicing. Okay. Take time off. So your time off from that linear block is your other important task to do. Okay, There's also a lot of parallel and repetitive tasks. Parallel as in you have to do this at the same time. So that's where you have to delegate and empower other people. Maybe your colleagues, maybe your student. Okay, But there's also the repetitiveness in your task. You complete, you think it's done. Two days later, it comes back to you. Oh, paper rejected. Oh, your proposal is rejected. Oh, it's not good enough. Oh, borang ni kena sign balik lah. Tak ada receipt. Receipt tak chop. Aduh, gegam tu aku. No? Or sometimes, um, administrative stuff that are, you know, oh, doktor, doktor tak sign kat sini. Oh, tak boleh signature ni. Kena signature hidup. Tak boleh signature yang yang soft copy. Aduh, geram tu. Benda-benda yang small-small repetitive task that, you know, you thought it's done but it's not. So that's the nature of academic work. If you the, the sooner we realize that, okay, the sooner we, we know enemy, the sooner we can fight it, right? The, the, the more we know our enemy, the more we know how to strategize and, and fight it, right? So that's let's not look at it as an uh, an enemy, as a negative item or a being, but we understand our job. Okay. We understand our job, and that's the nature of our job. If we embrace it, inshallah, we will be able to conquer it. Okay. Okay. Let's now talk about the how. I have different food in front of me. How does it work? Okay, so I've mentioned just now the spillover effect. Something you could think about and, and start uh, trying out. I've also mentioned the energy, the entropy effect. Okay, the energy. Whether or not you decide to, you know, how much energy does it take actually. If, it's, if, it's, if it can be done, you just do it and get it done out of the way. Okay, so how? Okay, 
So, tip number one. This is the how, okay, on the how topic. Know yourself. Okay. I, I try to bring this up over and over again, the spillover effect. If you know yourself, you know what to spill over and what not to spill over. Okay. So, when you design, when you design, when you design or you decide on things you want to do, you have to ask yourself, do I enjoy it? Because if you do things that you enjoy, it's, it's like not working. You enjoy doing, macam buat hobby. You know, it's like hobby. I enjoy writing research paper. So it's my hobby. So it doesn't it doesn't become a research paper task or susah, susah, pening, you know. I enjoy getting feedback from the reviewer, even though the reviewer say five pages of what's not good about your paper. I enjoy that. Okay, so I, I, me, me, myself enjoy. You may not, but uh, you find something else that you enjoy. I enjoy meeting students. Uh, okay, in the first, uh, the second slide just now, you enjoy teaching. Okay, find something that you can get out of the teaching in terms of research. Maybe you want to invest a little bit more in terms of uh, educational research, maybe. Maybe you want to try to combine your teaching with your community work. That's the SULAM uh, initiative. SULAM initiative, which is your community work combined with um, existing courses. SULAM, S-U-L-A-M. It's an initiative from the Ministry of Higher Education or Ministry of Education. Okay. Um, uh, ADAC is organizing the competition and there's also a lot of other things going on about SULAM. So if you know yourself, what you enjoy, pick and strategize based on what you can perform and what you can do. Okay, so these are some of the tips that may work for you, it may not. So let's go through it. <clears throat> Identify time of the day or day of the week or week of the month that you are most productive. <clears throat> okay, for discussion, writing, reading, preparing material, socialize. So uh, socialize, eh? keep it there. Jangan buang, eh? You need to identify the time of the day. Also, to become a mummy or a daddy. Mumming and daddy. Okay, for us who have kids. Or maybe we have uh, elderly parents that we need to take care, that we are that staying with us. Okay, time. What's the best time of the day for you to do what? Okay. So, some of us already identified this. Okay, I work best when everyone else is asleep. That's a late night. Or I work best when uh, it's very early in the morning. Uh, you have the fresh air. You just got back from your jogging. Okay, you have that that uh, sunlight. That's the best time of your day for work. Okay, identify that. Okay, what's the best time for you to socialize? Maybe the time where your brain cannot work anymore. For me, that's about after lunch, 3 o'clock until 5 o'clock. I cannot write anything. I cannot. I cannot do anything that is cognitively heavy during that time. So I choose to do things that are the multitasking, the 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 the, the little little things that has to do, have to do, have to do, have to do. Okay. And then uh, a lot of you also mentioned earlier in the chat section, prioritize and delegate. You have to know how to prioritize. Uh, another idea is to see your timeline. What I have manage to acquire the skill of visualizing the task in its completed state. So let's say the octopus and the and, and the iceberg just now. I already see how is how does the house the house that I'm building up there, I already see how it looks like. I already know it has uh, two doors, it it has a uh, red uh, roof I already know it has how many pillars. So if I know, then I can. It's easier for me to plan. Okay, what I need to do is to um, find material to build two doors and three pillars and one red bumbung. So if you visual, if you can see the output, okay. Now let's say you're you're coming up with a document. You can also already see the document in its completed state. So you know what to fill in the gap. If you don't see that, then you become. It looks like a very heavy, big task and very blurry okay so you, you you see your timeline and you see it's in completed state that's uh, another idea or tips for you 
okay, that, uh, that I find really useful. Okay. Uh, another idea that I have uh, to share with you is to slot in the time to do. Okay, so if I have my, my calendar with me here, you know how your calendar, you can put in whatever you want, right? So for me, I will put in the time for me to do the task, not the meeting to discuss it and not the deadline. Okay, so I know I need to complete this task. I can put the deadline. The deadline is 24th of January, for example. But if only the deadline is in my my planner, by the time I realize the deadline is already on that day and I haven't done anything. Okay, so I need to slot in the time for me to do. I block that time. I want to write this co uh, concept paper, for example. So the deadline is 24th. I block already a few times, few dates. Or uh, to be to be eff uh, efficient, just one day, so you don't shift it around. If you have two three days, ah, uh, tak pula boleh buat boleh buat esok. Oh, tak pula boleh buat lalu tak buat. Okay, and not also the meeting, because unless your meeting is a working meeting, that's the difference. Eh, meeting to discuss is when you meet five people meet. Okay, let's talk about this. Okay, bagi 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 kerja. Sometimes you don't even get anything to do from it. Just talk. Caca 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 caca. Tak ada apa apa. So it's not building towards that house that I want to build at the top of my iceberg just now. Okay. So it's okay if you have scheduled meeting, you do because so because that meeting is the to do list. But if you have something to do, writing papers, uh, marking test assignment, you slot in the time in your so you block the time. Okay. Um, other tasks, um, other ideas or tips, and maybe arranging your tasks by week. Uh, group common tasks. This is um, if you have, um, for example, um, final year project supervision. For example, you supervise the things that are common. For example, you want to share how to do a literature review. So instead of telling one person, one person, one person, uh, you tell in a group. Okay, you have a, a colloquium or a, a common session. Or these are these are tasks that you can do together, eh? Or um, doing financing, you know, e procurement things. Okay, kumpul semua e procurement at one time. Ah, uh, buat sekali, go, 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 go. and get help. Let's say your RA who is good at this, get him there or her, and do it there, and then uh, get it all five e procurement done at one time. So that will also um, help you in terms of you know not having to energy to jump, jump, jump all the time. Okay, um, using technology or any other proven tips. So if you have any other proven tips, you're more than welcome to write it down here on the chat section here. Uh, okay, Dr. Ahmad Kamil, thank you. You have to leave for class, okay? It's okay. Thank you for joining us. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. So um, at the uh, under, under proven tips, okay. Tip number two is be time sensitive. Time sensitive as in, you know how much time left for you to do it. How much time left? As I mentioned, if you see your timeline or if you visualize your task in its completed state, tak keluar kat sini, eh? in its completed state, then you it helps. But you have to see the time, you have to be time sensitive. Okay, Time sensitive as in, if you're free, don't waste time. If you know that it is due in three weeks, you plan in three weeks. If you have to actually plan and slot in the time, okay? So time sensitive is, is, is key there. I know a lot of people who try to do a lot of things, but because they're not time sensitive, they're time blind or time not time sensitive, they they had to miss or oh, dah buat 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 tapi tak sempat submit, you know? Or dah buat 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 tapi uh, tak sempat nak double check. So when you submit it, it becomes in its non-optimal state. Or um, tak buat tak buat tak buat sampai deadline last minute baru buat. Uh, that's time sensitive, not time sensitive juga lah. Okay, last minute. Okay, tip number three is my how. Okay, again I'm an engineer, so I work. I have this boolean in my head. Okay, number one, pick your battle. Decide what you want to do 
or you don't want to do or what you have to do. Pick your battle. If you pick your battle right, you'll be happy. Meaning whatever you invest in, whatever time and energy and uh, effort you put in, you know that it will come back to you and you'll be satisfied by that achievement. Okay, so you pick your battle. Sometimes people say um, administrative job. Um, if that administrative job is not something that you are interested in, but it's, you know, it's very uh, appealing. So you may, you may not have picked your battle if you say yes. You, you may not have picked your battle right if you say yes to that job. Okay, so this is what I mean by picking your battle. Pick your battle. Decide what you want to do. Okay, so that's first, that's first decision. So if your first decision fail, the others will 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 suffer lah. Okay, so if it has to be done, it has to be done. So you pick your battle. You do it. Okay, done. Or, or you want to do? I want to go to this school and 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 do my outreach program. However hard and and uh, messy and not appearing worth in my KPI, I still want to do it. Then you decide and you do it. Okay. Number two, know the needs. For everything that you need to do, you have to know the requirement. If you don't know the requirement, you'll do more. Or you'll be too not enough and you have to repeat. Or you have you do too much that when you, it comes to you, ni semua tak payah ni sebenarnya. Tak payah, tak payah. Ha, geram kan? So know the needs. What does that task need? I only need you to fill in this part. Okay, so you fill up, you focus on that part and fill it up. Rather than, ni apa? Uh, pahamkan, if you have to, if you have to understand it, you have to understand it lah. But, um, ni semua doktor dah pernah tengok dah. Doktor kena sign je. Okay, just look briefly and sign. Okay, you have, you have to, um, you know, otherwise you say, ah, letak tepi. Letak tepi, letak tepi, letak tepi. And then you nak tengok satu-satu. And then you will, you will spend one whole day just going through every single form yes you need to be accountable of what you sign but you need to you need to be doing it smartly and effectively okay otherwise you'll be spending one whole day just going through one by one questioning 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 every little detail and then it's not necessary okay so that effort is best done with other things okay know the requirement what is needed if you if you are revising a paper for example have your reviewers comment on the site so you you, you only address that first you address 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 so it's very targeted okay once you know the need and the requirement you decide whether you want to do it okay so you go to number three and make the time to do it or to delegate okay if you think that something that someone else is already trained to do or you want to train someone to do it you delegate to that person this may be your ra your postgraduate student uh, or a junior colleague that that was already in the team with you okay um number four see through it make sure it is done okay you make time to do it and you do it or if you if you decide to then you double check dah siap ke boleh tengok you know make sure it's done so this may mean pass it to the right person and get feedback from that right person. Get feedback from the right person. Don't get feedback. Eh, tanya colleague yang dah pernah buat. Eh, macam ni betul ke eh? And, eh, tak tahulah. Saya pun mm, pernah buat tapi dah lama. Ah, Then that person might not be right, the right person to do it. To ask from. Get feedback from the right person. Okay. You can ask. You can ask. And get some, some hint. But you, you don't hold on to that lah. What I mean eh. Don't hold on to that person. If it's not the right person to ask, you can ask their opinion, but quickly and move on. Get the right feedback from the right person. Or if it's done, pass it to the right person. Okay, if you complete your work, but you pass it to the not right person, then it may not be done because it hasn't reached. Okay, let's say you need this to be sent to the um, finance, in, uh, finance office. You pass it to your club or whoever. Okay? But, you know, this is delegating. But if you delegate and you, you don't know where it is, it may not reach there. So, it's not done. 
So, see through it. Number four is see through it. Number five is to differentiate between done and done, done. Done, done is your paper published, accepted, published. Uh, uh, accepted, belum published lagi. Accepted, you still have to do a few things, yeah? But published, done. Oh, it's on the website. You had, it's done. Or your book is already terbit. Or completed. Um, marks, assignment, all done. Correction, done. Submit the... Okay, so the done done is the celebration worth task. So for this celebration, you may want to you know have a good slice of cheesecake or a good cup of mocha or you know that that celebration or you want to have a group gathering, makan makan. Okay, this is um I always have uh student graduation not uh, graduation this is uh, viva celebration. Because Viva is a done, a done, done thing for me. I've got them past the Viva. Okay. Uh, so, that's worth celebrating. So, you'll see from, if you know me enough, you see that uh, in my lab, we always have celebration, makan-makan. Because once one student graduate, one student uh, habis Viva, celebrate, celebrate. We originally make it a surprise, but by the time... The seventh or the tenth student, doctor, dah tak surprise dah. Tahu mesti ada surprise punya. <laughs> makan makan tu mesti ada surprise. So kalau tak ada nanti lagi kecil hati pula. Okay, so that celebration. But differentiate between the first done. This first done, you have to go back up. Again, decide. Do I really want to do this? Okay, pick your battle again, and then go back down. Kenapa tak siap? Know the needs. Kenapa tak siap? Apa yang tak cukup? Know the requirements. Know the needs. Okay, then again, so the loop continues. Five go back up, five go back number one, five go back number one until it becomes done, done, then you celebrate. I reflected on this, on my 10 years plus of service as um, an academic. I reflected on this and I think this is my, how I dealt with the, the, the multitasking. Because academic multitasking is getting, something done i'm moving 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 okay but up there it's about what's out what's your output up there the house or the 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 the, the building is on top of that iceberg okay all right are we okay so far okay so far eh? okay tip number four in terms of making time i think um we have uh let me just check if there's any question or comments from the okay that there. okay so in terms of making time I would differentiate it into two types of time I have the solid time and the to do time for me my solid time is the early morning or the late night, the very late night. When I don't have young children like Zaid, like right now, I have I have a 10 months old baby right now. I don't have that midnight solid time anymore because that's time spent with my baby. But now I do have my, my solid time as in the early morning. And I realized this when I did my sabbatical leave. When I did my sabbatical leave is when I don't have to drive to UM, clock in, then start working. My solid time is after solat subuh, when everyone is uh, still, you know, uh, nak, nak mandi, nak bersiap-siap, and I, I, I got myself done. That's when, until 10.30, that morning is when my solid time is. Of the whole day. Okay, of the whole day. Nak apa? Nak apa? Okay, so that's multitasking, uh, handling interruptions. But as long as my child, it's meaningful interruption. Okay, solid time is the high attention, high quality output time. I realize when I do my sabbatical leave, I don't have to drive in the morning. I have to, I don't have to go so to siap siap, you know, lilit lilit pakai pin drive the hadap jam. I don't have to do that. So. I realized that is actually my solid time. The time when I sit down, 
switch on my laptop, the, 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 the environment and the air is so fresh and whatever I write, I get it right the first time. It's my journal, my grant, my whatever, you know, that, that high thinking, the cognitive bit. At this time, I don't check my email, I don't check my phone, I don't check anything. Okay, I just get everything done. Sometimes I even take leave just to do this. Okay. Our faculty uh, used to have a policy. Everyone has to clock in before 10 o'clock. Have to clock in before 10 o'clock. So that's my solid time actually. But because I have to rush to UM and clock in, I lost my solid time. That is when I, you know, I, I try to find time after 10 o'clock until 12. Ah, uh, 12 o'clock dah nak makan. Pula dah lapar. And then, to, uh, uh, nak solat zuhur. And then, uh, 2 o'clock until 5, my brain is already not working. My brain is already tired. And then until 5, oh, 5.30, I have to go pick up my daughter. Pick up my daughter. Okay, come back home. Uh, prepare dinner. Prepare dinner. I don't have a maid. Eh? I don't have a maid. I, everything I do myself. Prepare dinner. Everything eat, eat, eat. Okay, basuh pinggan. Okay, uh, masak siap semua. Sit down. That was why my solid time in the beginning was midnight. Sometimes I put my children to bed and I bangun balik buat kerja. Masa tu baru I can really read and write and you know. But not many times lah. Because you're, you are already tired by that time. But when I did my sabbatical, that was when I don't have to travel to UM to clock in. And I realized that might that was my best working time. Okay, so um, if if you don't have that opportunity, you may have to take leave just for that. Okay, um, I do know of some friends who take leave to write grants, because if you if you are forced or enforced to go to office and clock in, clock out, especially if you live far, if you if you live close by to your office, maybe you can you know you can make arrangements lah. But if you go far, you, you can't just go in, clock in and come back home and find. No, it doesn't work that way. So, different people have different times. So, find your own solid time. This is your best working time. And make sure there's no distraction. So, this one, you don't have that energy jumping. You don't have that energy jumping between different, different tasks. Solid time. Block everything out. Okay, be selfish a little bit for that time. Okay. I don't think you will need more than eight hours for this because you yourself your physiological body will need rest okay the other time is your to-do time identify time that is a to-do time meaning other things need to be completed this is where you you do things that does not require too much thinking okay or you decide to delegate okay this is sometimes uh grant dah submit paper dah submit dah tak ada apa dah yeah uh your classes are done, but you still have things to do. So this is the time, usually for me, this is uh, my working, my normal working time. Okay, that's why I say my normal working time is not, not the best time for me to do real work. I always tell my friend, my friends, okay. Datang office ni sebenarnya nak buat benda yang sikit-sikit-sikit-sikit yang, yang involve other people. That's the socializing, the delegating bit because you need to, you need to delegate. Okay, you have we have to work in a team. You cannot do everything on your own. Then you will suffer. If you do everything on your own, you will suffer. You have to make good friends, know how to delegate, you know. So this is the time where you to do. You, you get a lot of things done that are that are in layers, you know, in, in, in parallel, in layers, in repetition. This is the to do time. Okay. Um, in terms of making priority, in terms of priority, we all know about this four quadrant. We have the important, not important, urgent, not urgent. If it is important and urgent, you must do. You will do. If it's not important, not urgent, quadrant number four, you will say, tak, tak payah buat. No need to do. Buang, remove. Okay? Eliminate. Okay? That's in one. Urgent, always on top. And the not urgent not important always at the bottom always at the bottom or even eliminate okay but people will say important 
but not urgent schedule it not important but urgent. so schedule means you do your and you find time to do it delegate means you this this bit okay to do time this one okay the uh, teamwork comes in the communication comes in the social skill comes in you know the monitoring the supervision comes in here delegate and in theory people will say do the urgent and important first okay no question about that number two do not urgent but important first and number three not important but urgent people will always advise you to do the important one over the urgent one but in practice what we do is actually we do the urgent and important okay fine but we do the not important one. and the uh, not urgent but important we always put aside why okay i don't i don't want to answer this myself you can go to this uh, link here okay if i if you want to uh, let me just copy it here if for your own read line i'll just put it on the chat section there for you to refer to why do we always have the tendency to address the urgent ones but not the important ones when you have to choose between urgent and important when you have to choose eh, when they are not the same uh, level you tend to do the urgent one any any opinion i hear some okay dr rivadi you want to say something No, 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 I accidentally no. pressed. Okay. okay, okay, no worries. Okay. So, um, I think, I think I haven't, um, un fully read the, but I think it's human because we are human and we like to help. So, something that is urgent is usually involving other people. And you or we do not know enough how to prioritize ourselves than other people if you have someone asking things from you and there are other people you know so you feel that as urgent so you tend to those first you have voices screaming at you you know wanting things on this 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 but when you say something is important it's usually um um so so and check up uh it it it's important to you and the department and the, you know the 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 setting you are in it's related to some some selfish circle there but urgent is usually time time sensitive you have to do people ask you to so um there's a tendency that people or that we will try to address the urgent parts first so go go look at that that uh link and maybe understand a little bit more why we always do the urgent ones instead of the important ones. Okay. But uh, if it's not urgent or important, letak tepi. Until the, the important one becomes urgent, then you will do it anyway. Okay. I always, <laughs> I always feel that the important but not urgent will somehow become urgent and it will become in quadrant one and I will have to do it anyway. So, um, yeah. Yeah. In the end, urgency will win lah. The urgent, the urgent parts will win. So that's in terms of parity. We can talk a lot more about this, but uh, that's uh, for a different, different topic lah. Okay. Meaningful versus measurable. Okay. Sometimes we don't think of things in terms of meaningful and measurable. What? We do, if you read the article that I shared in the beginning, I'll share it again, okay? We always do the measurable ones, the one yang keluar KPI. Measurable, okay? The one that has scores. The one that is meaningful, sometimes you're too busy doing the measurable ones, you don't do the meaningful one. 
by the end of age 50, 60, you will ask yourself, what did I do? That's a meaningful bit. Okay? Because you always focus on, then the measurable ones are always imposed on you. Someone will impose on you. Management, bosses, other people. Okay? But the meaningful one is always the one that you enjoy doing, you want to do, and you don't mind not getting a score for it, you still do it. Okay? The meaningful is the one that will create you to build your profile. I'm interested in my research area that has to do with, I don't know, uh, transport, for example. So you, 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 you build a profile in, as a researcher in transport or sustainability, for example. Okay, so you build your profile and sometimes it's not even measurable but you even do it anyway because you are creating you. That's the that's the meaning of becoming an academic. You are creating a superstar, a rock star out of yourself. Okay, so you do that more. You do that more. You get the chance to do it more. The measurable ones are the ones that you want to survive. Your KPI, you have to achieve more than how many papers, how many teaching score you want to, you know, how much grant. Do that, that ones are the survival bit. So my advice is to do the measurable one first. It's the beginning of the year, it's January. Okay, reflect on yourself. What do I have? What do I don't have? Target the measurable ones so that when the measurable ones are Okay, you are tick tick tick. You like a checkbox. So this is a bigger picture, eh? not not the day to day measurable versus meaningful. Bigger picture. Do the do the measurable ones first. So you you can you can be uh uh opening. You can be a bit relaxed once you know that you have the measurable ones uh, fulfilled. But then you do the meaningful one more. You do the measurable one first, but you do the meaningful ones more because this is the one that create. I have a disclaimer down there. If you can do both simultaneously, you're working smart. If you are doing something that is both measurable and meaningful to you, then you are you are doing a you are doing a good job. You do you do you do you don't mind doing it whenever you want and you don't mind you don't mind doing it however much you want. So if you have conflict okay because i do feel that uh, some people cut corners and uh, uh, delegate too much that you know sometimes they 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 put names where they are not supposed to put their names that's because they are too focused on the measurable bit do asalkan boleh measure you know do asalkan boleh measure dig, dig, dig. so if you read that paper there will be a full example of that right um, yeah Coming to the values and ethics, okay, if you want to be tenang, hidup tenang, kan, long run, because as an academic, as a lecturer, as a, an, uh, you are a public figure to a lot of students, a lot of people. Your reputation goes a long way in my actions and decisions. That's my advice. If you think that your action and decision is not in line with something, but if you believe in it, you hold on to it. Okay. Uh, okay, this is a bit okay. Tapo, I, I cakap je. If you think that uh, the management imposes you to do something that you don't believe in, you do that measurable bit saja. Okay, because you don't really believe it, but you have to. You just, just, but if you, if you think it's really wrong, don't do it. If you don't believe it's right, you don't do it. Because people, management, or whoever rules, those change. But whatever you have done, your actions and decisions, you are accountable for it. So you keep, you keep that decision. Even if you get a low score on something, I don't know. Okay, if you believe you are doing the right thing, it's okay. Okay, he dropped the nang. Okay, so you claim only what you deserve in terms of paper, in terms of um, reports. Okay, we see this a lot in terms of research publication. If you want to claim, make sure you deserve it. If you want to put it around, okay, claim only what you deserve, or if you want to claim, make sure you deserve it. Meaning, if you want your name to be in that paper, make sure you deserve it by putting in your academic input. Put in your ideas and your writing in there. Not just grammar, not just sentence, language. 
Uh, the worst part is you don't do anything, but you 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 say my name must be there because I'm the one. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, we have a lot of these cases. Okay, everywhere, everywhere. It's not a Malaysian thing. It's not a UM thing. It's not. It's everywhere. Okay, so it's human nature to try to cut corners because we want to have as much measurable as possible. It's human nature. So it's a question of whether you want to do it or not. Okay. And again, try to be fair and consistent. I know that's multi-level, multi-dimensional. Okay? If you're fair and consistent, you don't have to justify every time because justifying is another energy that you have to spend. So if you have your values right and consistent, from you, it's okay to change your value if you believe that it has to be changed. Okay? But um, yeah, this is for you to ask yourself it's hard for me to um, impose too much or or, or, or or tell too much but what I can say is these three points okay be mindful your reputation goes a long way claim only what you deserve be fair and consistent because your student might become your co-worker your co-worker might be your boss your boss might be your your student there are cases where the boss becomes a student of you know of certain things so the world is round. Yeah, it's like a, a big circle. So yeah, be nice. Be not nice. Be have value and ethics. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Last ones. Uh, don't forget your me time. Maybe you need to slot in that me time. Bagi facial ke, bagi urut ke, spa ke. Okay, perempuan lah. Shopping. For me, it's shopping. Uh, for guys, maybe you want to binge movie or go watch movie or go somewhere with your family, take a holiday, your, your me time. Don't forget that. And my last tip will be surround yourself with good people. I realized this um, after, yes, after a while, I realized having a good, because some of my friends are here in this, in this, I really appreciate the relationship we have, even though it does not go to the KPI or the you know research. It doesn't have to. Good people can be your family, your husband or wife, your anak, -anak you know your your siblings, your community. You know, surround yourself with good people. It because relationship fuels, and you might get honest and critical feedback from. A true friend will tell you, okay, I have incidents where my, I didn't, I didn't realize what I'm doing is not right. Okay, but if you have good friends that are honest, they will say, Azar, kenapa? You, patutnya macam ni, macam ni, macam ni. You know, you shouldn't have that. So, if you don't have that relationship, possibly you don't get that feedback. And you, you, you are blinded by, you know, you are blinded by what you do. You think it's right, you know. And also, there's, there's emotional support. Your grant get rejected or your, you have a problem in office. And if, if, if you think that those, there are people who are not right people, just, just, my advice is to stay away. Jangan gaduh, jangan gaduh, okay. But just, just move away and surround yourself with good people. Okay, have good uh, cupcake sessions with them, have coffee, you know, have a chat session. Okay, so those are the things that um, will, will really help you uh, survive and and be, be sane and be mentally um, healthy. You want to be mentally healthy because as an academic, you need to be able to, that's your, our asset is our, our ideas and our our critical thinking so we need to have that this area up here to be healthy so if it's not healthy it, it may have to do with people around you it may have to be with your around um, an environment so I think this tip I would strongly suggest okay surround yourself with good people all right or if there's any other tips to share feel free to write it on the chat section down here and if you have any uh, last uh, take home, okay, last words, okay, you can um, 
write it on the uh, we, we have already reached our 12 o'clock um, deadline or you can email me at this email address azar.hamzaid at um.edu.my so these are my references thank you very much I leave you with the last word don't juggle or you will struggle but commit and you'll be at peace inshallah okay so thank you. I will stop sharing now if you have any questions or comments or you want to share your um, feedback or your take home what you learn most okay you can you can share on the screen here okay terima kasih Dr. Wan Lutfi lama tak jumpa eh ni kawan masa kecil dulu ke sekolah hmm. kamu tadi kau semua ya yes, saya feedback form ah okay we have the feedback form here don't forget okay uh feedback okay we appreciate your feedback on our session okay i'll just uh copy and paste in case it goes up okay certificate will be provided in 14 working days after you apply uh, after you fill up the the feedback form so um for non-um participant we there's a, uh, a fee but if you don't want the, the certificate it's okay uh, just fill up the feedback form, yeah? Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay.